Hi, it's Charity Lowe here, and today I'm going to show you how to draw eyes. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go into DaVinci Eye, then press Draw, select the image I want to draw. I'm going to go in Classic Mode, and then I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up the way that I want it. I do want it so that you guys can see the paper that I'm drawing on as well as the phone. So now I'm going to press move and move the image to the size of the paper where I want it. And then I'll press move again, just so that I can zoom in and out without the image moving on me. Now I am going to be taping down the paper so that when I'm drawing, it doesn't move. So first I'm going to turn down the opacity so I can see where I'm drawing. I'm going to start with a 4H pencil. It's a lighter pencil so that I can do the basic shapes and I'll be able to erase it as I'm doing the shadowing and the details. As you can tell, I am doing a different technique than the other videos that I've shown you. You can use that technique to draw an eye, but I just wanted to give you more information about how the different pencils work and why you should use them for certain things. So I'm going to take my 8B pencil, I'm going to adjust the opacity so I can see the shadows a bit better as well as the page that I'm drawing on through the phone. And I'm just going to shade in the dark areas using the side of the pencil. And for the eyebrows, I'm going in the direction of the hair growth. Now I'm going to be shading in the crease of the eyelid, still going in the direction of the line using the side of the pencil. Now I'm shading in the lash line, still using the side of the pencil, not the tip. Now I'm shading in the pupil, not shading in where the catch lights are so that it's nice and clean when I decide to brighten it up a bit. And then I'm going to be shading in the edges of the iris, nice circle. Here I'm turning up the opacity and turning on the strobe so that way I can compare my drawing to the photo. I'm just shading a little bit at the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to use my 4B pencil to do some of the shading on the skin. Just using the side of the pencil in circular motions. I do that because it's easier to blend and you don't get the pencil streaks when you do circular motions. It's more of a smooth texture when you do that. I'm 
I'm just gonna shape the tear duct a little bit and blending it in with the upper lash line and doing the same to the bottom. Shading in more of the bottom of the eyelid. A little bit on the tear duct as well. And then doing that little bit of shadow that's on the white of the eye and the bottom eye lip. Now I'm working on the texture of the iris and also shading it in. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to do small strokes uh, and you're going to have them go in the direction from the pupil outward. The iris is a little darker on the top because of the shadow that is created from the eyelid and the eyelashes. And it is lighter at the bottom. The iris has a lot of texture and different shades throughout. Now I'm shading in the corners of the white of the eye. You want to keep that circle shape. So you're going to be doing the same on the opposite side. So I'm just going to be blending. I have a tissue. I'm blending the crease of the eyelid and the eyebrows in the directions that they're going, as well as the bottom eyelid and the top of the lash line. And then I'm, for the skin, I'm going in circular motions because it makes it smoother. And then for the eyeball, I'm kind of just doing a curved blending to match the curvature of the eyeball itself. And then the iris, I'm just going from the uh, center where the pupil is outward to the edge. Now I'm going to take my handy knead eraser and I'm going to take off some of the pencil mark where I want it lighter. The brow bone. And then I'm just going to be dabbing um, on the page and what this does is it takes some of the pencil mark off but not all of it and it leaves more of a blended look I'm just highlighting areas that I see that need to be highlighted with the eraser
Now I'm going to be taking my black watercolor pencil and zooming into the pupil. And I'm going to really darken that area up. Now I'm working on shading the iris. First I'm going to draw a soft line around the iris. Now I'm just going to be shading the top of the iris, trying to create the texture of the iris at the same time, so small strokes, circular motions. The strokes are going from the center of the pupil to the outside of the iris, kind of like the shape of petals of a flower. The darker parts of the iris are the outer edge and the center and the top. So you just really want to build up the texture. Now with my 8B pencil, I'm going to be shading in a little bit more in the edges and creating some texture in between. Just really building it up. I'm going to take my little tiny blender and I'm going to blend using the same type of stroke method just to keep that texture.
I'm going back to my black watercolor pencil because I still want to darken it up some more. Still trying to keep the texture. Now I'm going to take my little mechanical eraser and I'm going to be erasing some parts between the center of the iris and the edge, still doing the strokes, trying to keep that texture that we've been working on. Now I am just taking a pencil and just filling in some spots that I think needs a little bit more texture to it. Taking my black watercolor pencil and I'm darkening up the edges, I still am not quite pleased with how it looks, so that's why I'm doing that. So I'm just taking my 4B pencil and I'm just making a very soft shadow outside of the iris. Give it more of a blended look, not so sharp. Now I'm just going to be working on the sides of the white of the eye, just shading it in, shaping the eyelid while I'm doing that. I'm just putting in a shadow that is created by the eyelashes that are on the top of the eye. And now I'm just drawing around the catch light that is on the little edge there. Now I'm going to take my tissue and blend it out. I'm not satisfied with how I blended it, so I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my little mechanical eraser and erase out that catch light. Now I'm taking my kneed eraser and I'm just dabbing the paper. What this does is it'll lighten it up but not take away all of the shadowing that I did earlier. And then I'm going to just blend it out a little bit. And I'm just fixing up that eye light again. Now I am going to be working on the other side of the eye and the tear duct. Now I'm just working on the top of it. I'm making a shadow that was created by the eyelashes. I'm just making small circular strokes. This will help with the blending.
And now I'm just blending it out with the tissue like I did the other side. Now I'm going to take my neat eraser and I'm just going to be dabbing the area like I did the other side, lightening up a bit. And then I'm just going to blend that out again. Now I'm going to be working on the tear duct and I'm going to be using my HB pencil because it's a very light area. And I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm just taking my neat eraser to lighten it up a little bit. Now I am taking my mechanical eraser and I'm just erasing out the highlights. Now I'm just taking my 4B pencil and making that little tiny shadow underneath the tear duct. I'm taking my 8B pencil just to darken it up just a little bit. And now just blending it out so it's not too harsh of a line. Now with my 4B pencil, I am going to be shaping the bottom lip of the eyelid. And now I'm just shading in the corners of that bottom lip. And I'm just blending that out. Now I'm taking the neat eraser and I'm just erasing the highlight of the lip. Now I'm going to be working on the lower eyelid just underneath the lash line. I'm using my 4B pencil, doing circular motions using the side of the pencil. And then I'm just blending that out. I'm just uh, creating some highlights just in that corner there. Yeah. 
Now I am going to be working on the bottom eyelashes. I'm going to be using my black watercolor pencil. They don't draw in a perfectly straight line across, so draw them a little bit above and a little bit below just to give it more of a realistic look. Really pay attention to the direction that the hair is growing. I am going to be working on the crease of the eyelid and also the bottom part of the eyelid that's between the crease and the lash line. I am taking my black watercolor pencil to darken in that crease. And my 4B pencil to create some of the shadow. And I'm going to blend that out. I'm darkening in the lash line with a 4B pencil. And I'm just going to take my neat eraser and start dabbing in the lighter spots of the eyelid. I'm taking my black watercolor pencil to darken in the crease. Now I'm taking my black watercolor pencil to draw in the lashes. And like the bottom lashes, they don't grow in a straight line. So if you do it just a little bit above and a little bit below when you start drawing the lashes, it will make it look more realistic. Lashes do go a little bit down and then they go up. The closer to the center of the eye, the more straight the eyelashes are going to go and then they'll start going the other direction after that.
In this particular photograph, the eyelashes start to go downwards. So just go down and away from the eye. In the catch light, you can see a little bit of the reflection of the eyelashes. So I'm going to draw those in with my black watercolor pencil. Now I'm going to be taking my 4B pencil and I'm going to be shading the area between the crease of the eyelid and the eyebrow. I'm drawing in circular motion so it will come out smoother when I blend. Now I'm just going to blend that out. Now I am taking my black watercolor pencil and I am drawing in the hairs of the eyebrow. As a general rule for both people and animals, hair likes to grow away from the nose. Now I'm taking my white acrylic and my teeny tiny paintbrush and I'm going to be painting in the very brightest highlights, making it pop. And now I'm taking my tiny paintbrush and just using water, I am going over the dark areas. So the eyelashes and the pupil and the eyebrows. Just doing strokes in the same direction that I already drew. And this pretty much sums up my video, so if you have any general questions about the app, you can contact the creators at info at davinciiapp.com or if you have any requests for future tutorials, you can contact me on my Facebook or Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you guys soon.